So I've been listen, listening to this song over and over while I had prepared, while I decided what to do with this diamond. My mirrors, I have a lot of work to do. My mirrors, all my mirrors to make them beautiful. You know, like without spots, <laughs> you know, to make them where they're, well, you know, like pristine. There is George Bush's and Leo's and Nashiana right there in the water. And I put it there so my dogs can drink it. And I have dolphin book <laughs> too, and it's puzzles, puzzles that I need to take apart. I've never liked puzzles, but I have to take them apart and put them on cardboard, and I'm going to hang them somewhere in here. I love them. Look at the blue babies, our little blue babies. I love them in Mashiana. <laughs> I love you, I love you. Anyhow, this is just, it means a lot to me. I'm learning so much from Anashiana, so much. And this one I moved over to Laura's in Kansas. This was like in the yard waiting for me. It was like such a magic miracle as soon as I walked up. William Romer, he was the Hells Angel. He was prospecting when I dated him. And he got kicked out of the club. And he's still MIA as far as I'm concerned. William, where are you? I have a bad feeling that he's somewhere. And I don't know what they did to him. Oh, I'll tell you about him later. But anyhow, though, this was there, the turtle. And when I was with William, I asked him if, I, if he was any animal at all, what would he be? And he said he would be a turtle. And the turtle holds the world in some details and stories. So this is Lily. <laughs> but it was there at Laura's and Chance's that I moved in. So magical. Um, Alright, I'm going to tell you. 
little tennis style, a little bit more. Yeah, you can All right, I want to tell you a little bit more about Laura and Chance, okay? It's been about a year <coughs> since she was in with her ex-mother-in-law in the apartment next to this one. And her boyfriend, it's going on a year now, February, since her boyfriend, the love of her life, was murdered. Murdered. He was beat to death with pipe in, a, in an outhouse. And she's had to go through so much. Chance is her 15-year-old son. She's been fighting for custody. They've been messing with, the, they're, they're ugh, trying to, they're, they take children away from their families and put them in foster care. And Laura is not a bad mommy. She's a good mommy. She is. And her daughter, her daughter just had a baby. Her daughter did shut the whole time she was pregnant. And the baby got taken away. And then um, the baby's not that old. I think maybe four months or so. Um, but... Shannon, and her daughter, I forget how old she is, she's in her mid-twenties, I think. She's in treatment, drug treatment right now. And the dad, Ron, the dope man, he um, is clean. And the baby, he has the baby, him and his mom. But the other two children, the other, I, Jada and, um, Jada and, J, DJ, DJ and Jada. <laughs> okay, those are her little grandchildren too, those are her daughter's children. They are right now in a foster home. It was a guy, a single guy, and they, they, Laura loves her grandchildren so much, and her children, and I've seen her fight, and fight, and go to the courts, and, and everything, she's just, and you know, she didn't really do dope, she smoked weed and stuff, but then she met me, okay, and then here, and then she started coming over, because I always had the meth and stuff, and then she started doing it more, but she quit, okay, she went cold turkey, and she didn't come by or nothing, I saw her, I mean, she walked, but she would not even, you know, come over, she did not nothing to do with it so she got clean okay got her daughter in treatment thought they were going to get the grandkids so they got the house for grand she got the house for her grandkids and her children and um her ex-mother-in-law the grandma's supposed to get kinship and so that made like 900 something dollars a month so laura would be able to take care of the rent and pay her, take care of her family with that and anyhow they're the court they're giving her a hard time and they still have her grandchildren she don't, can't talk to them she don't know where they are and she loves them so much i've seen her I've, this woman has like nobody i've ever seen like fight 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 okay for her family to be together and now she's kind of losing hope okay and her daughter is in treatment but still and the baby is with the dad okay and he's clean and shannon's in treatment god hope she stays clean um but but laura Okay, so she started, like, doing meth more, because, well, you know, liking it, because I guess I kind of got her, she didn't, well, she's almost an addict. She's not an addict yet, but she's about this close, okay, because me. Not because I tried to be mean or do anything bad, but because I'm an addict, but okay, so, anyhow, Laura, those of you that have been following my story know that when I was uh, um, going through the demonic possession, where I was actually possessed, that even you guys saw me on my, some of my videos, and what had happened in serious demonic possession and I it happened Laura we were talking about the Bible and stuff and I was over her house and I started to get possessed okay like total full body I was, ah, you know like that and I was in the bathroom on my knees over the toilet like you know trying, and I was like this demon like totally took me over because I was feeling hate in my heart because of nobody helping what happened at Bohemian Grove nobody to help to stop those sacrifices and Laura Okay, she's never, she didn't, she didn't, I mean, she's like, you know, she didn't know me that good, you know, but she totally didn't question it, she didn't ask no questions, she didn't do anything to make me feel stupid or get scared, she, she, she just, something took over her, she completely took over, she didn't say a word, and she went, boom, I might have like this, okay, boom, like, grab me by the hair, boom, and she didn't say anything, and boom, got rid of it, totally got rid of that demon, okay, and I was like, oh my god, holy schmoly, and then a few nights later, she was sleeping because her and Chance were staying at the ex-mother-in-law's in the next apartment, which is a one bedroom with this efficiency, and Karen had the big room, and Laura and Chance were sleeping on the floor in the living room. Um, she was sleeping, and Chance was awake, and then in her sleep, boom, 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 and her head jerked, and the demon punched her three times in the face, and Chance saw it when she was sleeping. She woke up, her jaw was so sore, and it split, then it ran, but it was so mad because she, it got, she got it out of me. Okay, and she wants so bad to have her family and she's fighting so hard but she doesn't have the money she doesn't have the money the means ends the place you know her home everything has been 
you know, they won't help her with anything, you know, not even public aid or not nothing, and she's trying so hard. And she got that house for her family, and I thought that I lost my dope. Okay, I mean, I, excuse me, I thought I lost my dime, and I thought that I'd given it to her in my little green cellophane. I thought, you know, that I gave her gave my some dope, and I thought that I might have given her that dime, and well, I found it. Okay, but now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wrap my diamond up in the green cellophane and say, I got some killer, some crystal, the best you've ever tried, the best, you know, and give it to her, and she'll, she won't do it right then, she'll take it and put it in her drawer, in her bedroom, or whatever, and then I'll leave, and, and it's going to be the diamond, so that she can have, get her grandchildren, because I've never seen any woman, anybody, more have the blood of the mother pumping through their veins, and this woman trying so hard to keep her family, to get her family together. Okay, and Chance is the one that, and now she had a book off a little piece of herself, and then, I told you guys about this in the previous video, and he was all mystified by it, you know, and he was like, oh, you know, and then it told him a name, which I didn't know, I still can't remember, but it told him the name of my magic painting that wrote the name of the that is the goddess of truth, you know, and then it acted my magic painting and so that Gashiana decoded information. Anyhow, it helped so much and right now, okay, Laura, she the kinship thing didn't go through and she's about ready to lose she's getting evicted. She's about ready. She that house she took the house it was just tore up, I mean everything and she painted it and fixed it up and it's such a warm, cozy feeling. She turned this house into the most warm fuzzy cozy home okay a home I mean it's just like incredible what she's done and now she doesn't have the money because the kinship thing didn't go through and then anyhow and then with me you know and mm, um well you know I left because you know she kind of like jacked the rent up on me to where I was paying almost all of it because I know she didn't have the income and didn't know what she was going to do and then I kind of got mad and then I left came back here but still though she's getting ready to lose her house okay and then her and chances are going to be either back in that one bedroom or that efficiency apartment on the floor or else and she's not gonna be able to get her grandkids or else she'll be on the street homeless okay but not now <laughs> but chance okay after he give um you know i thought that he was oh you know, i made a little thing for him after he'd given me the name of my picture and this right here i put in a little thing for him i don't know how good you can see it but it's a picture of jesus and he's holding out a little if you look closely he's holding out something out and it's a little tiny stone okay right there and I didn't even notice that until afterwards and I put in this pile of stuff I was going to give change